Of course I'm pissed off. Everybody's pissed off. But I was pissed off at the dictatorship in Chile for years, and I was paralyzed. I was living in exile. I had lost everything, uh, and I felt that I was a victim. I, I all the time complaining. I could never adapt anywhere. I had, I was just very unhappy, and falling in wrong, uh, falling in love with the wrong men all the time to try to compensate the the emptiness in my heart. And um, and when I started writing the House of the Spirits, something happened. I think that the House of the Spirits was an attempt to recover the world I had lost, to recover my family, my, my roots, my language, the anecdotes of my grandfather, the past, my country. And um, in doing so, I got rid of the anger. And I was still pissed off at what was happening with the dictatorship, but I could fight it in a much more efficient way. I wasn't paralyzed anymore. When my daughter Paula died, and she fell in a coma because there was negligence in the hospital, I had a choice. I could be pissed off at the hospital forever, and I would have never been able to write the book. Or I could put myself in the place of the people who were there. It was, there were 3,000 patients. The hospital was on a strike. It was a bad time, a long weekend in Spain. Everybody was on a holiday. It was nobody's fault. There was no bad intention. The negligence was just not intentional. So if I could pass that horrible, horrible obstacle and get into my grief and grieve for my daughter without the anger, I could do something. And what I could do was the book and the foundation. So it became something positive and creative because the pissed off can be transformed into good action instead of being paralyzed by being pissed off. That's great. That's beautiful. Yeah.